Hello everyone. In this video, I will show how to interface an LCD display with 8051. Let's start. So this is a schematic of LED display. Here there are 14 pins. The first two pins are for power supply. First pin is for ground and second pin is for power supply. Third pin, third pin is for adjustment of the brightness of display. And these three, four, five, six are the most important pins. First one, fourth pin is for register select. Fifth pin is write or read. And sixth is for enable. And the remaining pins are for taking the data or giving the data from LCD display. Let us see. Uh, you can see first pin is ground and second pin is 5 volts uh, DC power supply. And third pin is for controlling contest adjustment. 4, 5, 6 are important. Uh, if fourth pin is 0, then we are selecting the LCD display for command mode. If the pin is 1, then we are giving, we are writing the data into LCD display. And the fifth one is decides whether the information is read from the LCD display or will be right into the LED display. And the sixth pin is for enabling. Seven, seven, and the remaining pins are for data. And we have two extra pins. 15 and 16 pins are for backlight LED. So this is the timing diagram. Here we have position select reader write bar, enable pin and data pins. So register select we can have both 1 or 0 where if it is 1 data will be taken or if it is 0 command will be taken. Uh, next read and write bar. Here read by write bar that means if it is 0 the L LCD display will take data. So here it is in 0 that means the data is taken into the LCD display and now enable pin when the enable pin goes from high to low the data will be taken into the LCD display you can see here the data is been taken when the enable pin goes from high to low So finally we are in code. First I am initializing the dptr value with my and I have preloaded all the commands into the my location. See this is the my location. The first command is 38h says that at to enable two lines with 5 into 7 matrix then 0e for enabling display with cursor. 01 says to clean all display. Uh, which are previously exist 06 for incrementing uh, for increment cursor value 81 sets the cursor to the location 81 and 0 H this will say that all data lines are completed that means I have written code that when 0 comes automatically it terminates from the loop see all command comes into this uh, when if the command is present in A, then it won't be, then it will not be zero. If it is not zero, then I am calling command and delay function, and then I am again cleaning A, incrementing dptr value, and again calling the new value to A. 
if a is 0 then automatically it jumps to next where i can set the dba tier value to the next uh, preloaded values here my my one is uh, given with uh, some alphabets with 0h when again it reaches to 0h it automatically jumps out of the loop here i am this time i am calling the function data uh, dda have i have give, calling dda function with delay and the, again i am setting uh, to the next line and again call and giving the data and finally these are the commands as we studied before uh, to select command mode the register s must be in uh, re register select must be in zero and to write mode it must be in zero so i am connecting p21 to re uh, read by write bar read read by write bar uh, and i am making it zero and the next third pin third pin is enable to en to write the data into lcd display we should change the enable bit from high to low so first i am setting the bit and then after a delay i am reading it so that i am i will be getting uh, 0 to uh, 1 to 0 apples next data in data mode the register select must be 1 so i am just changing the p to zero p to zero to set bit and remaining all commands are same and this is the delay function this is how i have written the code now let us check the code in proteus now i am in proteus let us give it a name lcd uh, i am choosing a default schematic i don't need a pcb layout i am selecting 8051 microcontroller So this is the schematic. Uh, so this is the so this is the schematic area. Now so now let's select the component 16 into 2 LCD display. So this is the LCD display we required. I'm choosing it. Now let us place. Yeah, we have placed it. Next, we need a pot. The main thing is go to the properties and change the frequency because if you have less frequency uh, we should increase the delay so I am changing the frequency to 950 kilohertz so uh, now we have set the frequency to 950 kilohertz now let us connect So we are done with it. Let us dump the code. Let's run. So you can see we have got the output. In this way we can interface 8051 with LCD display. Hope you guys like this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up if, if any doubts please comment below thanks for watching peace